I will no longer allow racist, hurtful words, jokes, stereotypes, no matter how big or small, to be uttered in my presence. Responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility for every unchecked moment, for every time it was easier to ignore than to call it out for what it was. Every not so funny joke, every unfair stereotype. I will no longer allow racist, hurtful words, jokes, stereotypes, no matter how big or small, to be uttered in my presence. Black people are being slaughtered in the streets, killed in their own homes. These are our brothers and sisters, our friends, our family. So many emotions as I'm sitting here listening to you. I'm, I'm having my own, I'm surprised at my own emotions on, on, on TV with you, but I've just, as a, as a white woman, aware of my own privilege in this country, I am so angry I, and I can't even begin. Forgive me. So these actors are saying, Black Lives Matter. We will not stand racial intolerance anymore. Well, do you want to know what's insane? You want to know what's insane? They only care about the lives that have been taken by police officers, which is probably like 0.001%, okay? But these 18 murders in 24 hours inside of Chicago's deadliest day in 60 years? Oh, yeah, they don't care about those black lives. They only care about um, the black lives that white people took. Oh, even if, yeah, even if it's, like, completely warranted, it doesn't matter. They still did it. Oh, but these 18 murders, who cares, you know? Because if we could just make it political, does it really matter? Like, it doesn't matter? So all these actors just conveniently leave out this part. All right, so Walmart says it will no longer lock up African-American beauty products, all right? So look at this picture right here, all right? So they've been locking up African American beauty products. Um, they've locked up baby powder. They lock up a whole bunch of things. They lock up the things in this picture because it's things that have been stolen the most. They're not being racist. They're literally just locking up the things that have been stolen. That's all they're doing. They are locking up things that have been taken from a store. All right, all they're doing. But oh, it's it's racist since they're African American beauty products. It makes no sense. Okay. It could be African-American beauty. How does that have anything to do with it being stolen the most? So they locked it up, but it's racist, so they have to unlock it. All right, so Subway came out with a statement saying, Our doors are open to all, and we stand against racial injustice of any kind. There are a lot of important voices speaking out right now that need to be heard, so we are stepping away from social media to ensure that happiness. Hashtag Blackout Tuesday. I am not kidding. I honestly think they may be the racist ones. Do you want to know why? Because they feel the need to say that their doors are open to anyone. If their doors were open to anyone before, so all restaurant stores, I would say 99.99% of restaurants were open to everyone. So for them to feel the need to say that, I think they may be a little bit racist, not to lie. Okay, this one actually looks like a joke. They say Band-Aid launching racially diverse Band-Aids because the Band-Aids look too Caucasian. So they had to switch up the Band-Aids so they made a whole bunch of different colors as you could see on the screen. This isn't a joke anymore. This is I am being a dead serious when I say this. This is a real news article. Like a few years ago, we were, there was like a whole bunch of news things. It's like getting to be no joke now. Like if you actually look at these, they are... You laugh. You think that they're like from the Babylon Bee, but they're not. It just looks so stupid. Oh my goodness. I just can't stop laughing when I see these, although they're not funny. It's insane.